Namaste children. Welcome to English class. Keep your textbooks ready. Now, observe this picture. What does it remind you? Correct. It reminds you of Shankranti festival. Now tell me, which type of festival is Shankranti? Yes, it is harvest festival. Shankranti is the harvest festival of Karnataka. Like Shankranti, there are many harvest festivals being celebrated in different states of India. One of them is Bihu festival which is celebrated in Assam. It is also a harvest festival but there are three types in that. So in today's class, let us know more about Bihu festival. Children, open page number 8 in your textbook. Celebrating Bihu Warm up. Festivals are a time of celebration and togetherness. Here are some ways in which we celebrate festivals. Children, you add three more ways to celebrate. Yes, children. Let us begin reading the lesson. Celebrating Bihu. First, I will read. Then when you hear a child's voice, you will start repeating. Okay? Yes. Ma, Baba and I were traveling to Guwahati to visit Aunt Ratna's family. I was very excited to visit Assam. Aunt Ratna had once told me that Assam is one of the most beautiful states in India. She had also said that Assam is very rich in agriculture and the three harvest festivals of Bihu are its most important celebrations. Ma, Baba and I were travelling to Guwahati to visit Aunt Ratna's family. I was very excited to visit Assam. Aunt Ratna had once told me that Assam is one of the most beautiful states in India. She had also said that Assam is very rich in agriculture and the three harvest festivals of Bihu are its most important celebrations. Next paragraph. I asked Baba to tell me more about Bihu. He said, The Assamis celebrate three types of Bihu in a year. Rongali Bihu at the start of the sowing of seeds. Kongali Bihu when the sowing is completed. And Bhogali Bihu at the end of the harvesting period. I asked Baba to tell me more about Bihu. He said, the Assamis celebrate three types of Bihu in a year. Rongali Bihu at the start of the sowing of seeds. Kongali Bihu when the sowing is completed. And Bhogali Bihu at the end of the harvesting period. Now explanation. Children, this lesson is in form of a narration by a child on its visit to Guwahati in Assam. Do you know where Assam is? Yes, Assam is in the northern eastern part of India. Did you know that Asia's widest river is in Assam? Can you guess which river it is? Yes, it is Brahmaputra. What else is Assam famous for children? Yes, it's famous for its tea estates. The weather in Assam suits tea plants. So you get a variety of flavors of tea in Assam. Coming back to the narration of the lesson, the child says the child traveled to Assam. The child here is traveling to Guwahati in Assam along with its mother and father. The child was very excited to visit Assam. Child's aunt Ratna had told it that Assam was one of the most beautiful states in India. It was also very rich in agriculture. The most important celebration in Assam are the harvest festivals of Bihu which are of three types. They are Rongali Bihu, Kongali Bihu and Bhogali Bihu. Let's continue reading children. In fact, we are going just in time for Rongali Bihu. 
said Ma, with a twinkle in her eyes. Let us continue the lesson. In fact, we are going just in time for Rongali Bihu, said Ma, with a twinkle in her eyes. When we reached Guwahati, we were welcomed warmly by Uncle Pramod and Aunt Ratna. My parents told them how eager I was to know about Bihu and they enthusiastically described the festival to me. In fact, we are going just in time for Rongali Bihu, said Ma, with a twinkle in her eyes. When we reached Guwahati, we were welcomed warmly by Uncle Pramod and Aunt Ratna. My parents told them how eager I was to know about Bihu and they enthusiastically described the festival to me. Explanation When the child reached Guwahati along with its parents, they were warmly welcomed by Uncle Pramod and Aunt Ratna. They also told the child eagerly about Bihu festival. Ok children, let us continue with the lesson. Rongali Bihu is the Assamese New Year, began uncle. It marks the arrival of spring. We usually celebrate it in the middle of April every year. It is called Rongali Bihu because of happiness it brings to the people. Rongali Bihu is the Assamese New Year, began uncle. It marks the arrival of spring. We usually celebrate it in the middle of April every year. It is called Dongali Bihu because of happiness it brings to the people. Next paragraph. Actually, we celebrate Rongali Bihu over several days, continued Aunt Ratna. Since Bihu is about farming and cultivation, farmers spend a whole day decorating their cattle. They bathe their cows and bulls with mahalodi, a paste of some black gram and a little turmeric. After this, they decorate the animals with a few garlands. Actually, we celebrate Rongali Bihu over several days, continued Aunt Ratna. Since Bihu is about farming and cultivation, farmers spend a whole day decorating their cattle. They bathe their cows and bulls with mahalodi, a paste of some black gram and a little turmeric. After this, they decorate the animals with a few garlands. Explanation Uncle says that Rongali Bihu is celebrated as Assamese New Year in April which marks the arrival of spring. It is celebrated as Rongali because it brings happiness to people. Aunt Ratna says that Rongali Bihu is celebrated at the starting of sowing of seeds. Since it is related to agriculture, the farmers spend a lot of time decorating their cattle as their cattle play a very important role in farming and cultivation of crops. Cattle is bathed with a paste of black gram and turmeric called as mahalodi. Cattles are then decorated with garlands. Let us read. Children, I will stop the lesson here only. I will continue the lesson next week. The homework for this lesson is Stay home, stay safe.